Man, I'm scrolling through my YouTube sub feed. And Jack Septic I posted a video. Am I retiring from YouTube? Heart attack. I instantly go to the comments, he's fine. Jesus, why do they do it to us? I hate when they clickbait that shit. Like I get why, but it's like, come on, man. Anyway, guys, put your gold kappas in chat. I'm back. Your favorite Kappa. Um, sub only stream today. Weekly stream. Second week in a row where I didn't miss it. Plan is simple. Getting to 8k rank in Mario Kart. I am 200 away. <laughs> so how long will that take? Like a million hours? And then, planning birthday stream. We'll do that at the very end. So guys, get your notepads out. Get your pens and paper. Planning the birthday stream. It'll be April 24th, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So 12 hour stream. Last year we did mostly games. This year I want to have like a purpose because I'm turning 25. And I'm spending my third birthday with chat. So you know what? It's got to be a good one. You know, instead of throwing a house party, I'm clicking go live for my birthday. So we got to make it a good one. You can use your channel points or just hold tight to the end of stream and then we'll work on it. Okay, so I will do online until I get sick of it, or if we have at least, let's say, four people who want to race with me. And then I'll make a lobby. But, I'm at 7,800. I thought it was at 7,900. <laughs> um, I'll play Gold Peach. 
classic. And I'm it. <sighs> also, I only got till 4 p.m. today because my sister wants to play Mafia. She walks in the door. And I'm like, resting because I was about to stream. And she's like, you want to play Mafia? And I'm like, oh. I'm about to stream. And she's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. So, I'm gonna play Mafia. Because I had to beat the racing mission for her. It was surprisingly difficult. No! Uh-oh. Um. Who hacked my Switch? Type 1. Okay, maybe it's- <gasps> I'm in! And it's Sunshine Airport? Yo! I got this in the bag. Also, after the art stream earlier, my neck hurts. I was looking down too much. If you're an artist, you know you're basically hunched over your desk the whole time. And I haven't, like, drawn drawn in a while. I've painted, but drawing, like, you have to grip your con- I almost said control. You have to grip your tool fairly hard. Which, I was not trying to make a joke there. I'm just being very curt. I might have to ask my sugar mama for massage tonight. Jeez. No, but for real, if I had a sugar mama, I would brag about it. You guys would know. No! I hate Music Park! Music Park used to be like the GOAT track for me, but now it's like, eh. I think it's because I was so shocked. I was so shocked about the piano keys making noise. And then the one S-shaped turn in the center, like, always threw me up. But now that I know how to do it, I'm like, kind of swag. Watch this first place incoming. Clean. Okay, watch this. Okay, four. I'm not holding the item behind me because I don't want to lose the shell. I only have one protection item right now. And... I'm in fifth. Oh no! I have my blanket in my lap, and I swear to God, my finger got trapped in the blanket. It's fine, I can catch up. I'm gonna use the shell now, because I wanna do the skip, and I'm gonna get a double item box soon anyway. Yes, sir. A whore and a triple shell. Interesting. Well, the second place had a horn too. No! I know I wasted that, but I just got mad. Look, I'm in eighth now. Man, I have I have third in my grasp. Take that peach. I haven't played in so long. In so long, I mean a week. <laughs> I should have gone for the skip. I don't mean to brag, but like, people in this lobby aren't that good. Was that guy's name I'm Down Bad? <laughs> it was so me too. I'll take it. I could have had first. I legit, if I would have tryharded, 
I legit could have gotten first. I'm not even kidding. But you know what? You win some, and you lose some. And that's okay. That's how life goes. Wario gold mine, and I literally win. You know what I love about these no face cam streams? Is that I can pick my nose and you guys wouldn't even know. And you wouldn't even know if I'm not doing it either. <laughs> I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. Yo, it shows mine! Okay, I'm literally gonna win. Place your bets now. Okay, something hit everybody there. Get rid of their banana. Red shell hit somebody else. Sorry. Jackass. <laughs> and Seto, somebody's sniping. Who is it? Really? Who's doing it? Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, somebody put a banana on the boost pad. That's pure evil. They should go to therapy. Because you know that's redeemable. Too shabby. Clean. All I need is a blue shell. Ooh, a coin? Watch this. Shooting one red, it hits him. They had a horn, take another one. <laughs> and I have a banana bean. Come on. <gasps> First place, second race of the day. That could have been peace in history. Damn, I'm pretty good at this game, huh? I mean, honestly, that race was pretty clean. I think the main factor was item usage. Look at this, look at this. A crown on my head. Feel free to screenshot, screenshot. Dang, it's been so long. And I didn't even run a prediction. She. Why did I not get notives? You know, I thought about it. And sometimes when you stream within the same hour, it doesn't send out a second noti. And I forgot. But hi Vic. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I forgot. 
That the reason why they why Twitch does that is that way if somebody stream like DCs, people don't get spam notice. But that's why usually whenever I do two streams in a day, I wait an hour. But I only waited 30 minutes, so I I kind of cooked myself. But you know what that means? If you're here, then you're a real fan, like it says in the title. <laughs> Okay, watch this. Another first place incoming. Oh no! <laughs> I thought that game's name was Fire. <laughs> I'm holding this behind me because I'm scared. I swear, somebody's sniping. What? He knew there was a lightning bolt coming. He had a ghost? Clutch. Oh. I glitched. What was that even? I was for sure gonna fall off there. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Wait, this is my moment to shine. It fourth pretty damn good from first to fourth okay i said before that i want to do a stream where i get first three times in a row and online that'd be literally impossible i'm up 79 points yo short stream everybody when i get 8k i'm clicking end stream Right, the button says stop streaming. It doesn't say end stream. Also, my sister's so bad. The moment she gets home, she asks me, do you play Mafia? And then she's like, you want to get Popeyes? She's so bad. And you know what I said? I said no. And then she cried. <laughs> nah, she didn't. We're going out to eat on Sunday, so. We're going out to eat, and then she's gonna try boba for the first time. It's fun. <laughs> she's never tried boba, because she doesn't like tapioca that much. But she wants to go to Taiwan next year at some point. And Taiwan is one of the believed origins of the boba pearls. So she's like, I want to try it because I don't want to go there and like think it's bad and order it. So I was like, okay. I don't think she's gonna like the boba though. <laughs> so I'm taking her to like one of my favorite local stores because they will do like sta samples and stuff for her. You know, I don't want to get her a whole boba tea and then she not like it. Because I've offered to share my drink, like if I get boba, I'll be like, oh, you want to try a sip? She's like, no, I don't want your germs. And I'm like, I ain't sucking or fucking nobody, so no need to worry. And she was like, no, I don't want to share. <laughs> you know, little sister in a dream. Oh my god, I'm in fourth place. Oh my god, I'm in 7th place. Don't you dare! Ja Jackass. I 
I'm surrounded by stars. Go be counting stars. I'm not a ghost. I didn't go clear. What the hell? Seriously, somebody hacked my switch. Switchy. I sent you the wrong address. Dude, I was literally gonna put the letters in the mailbox tonight. <laughs> okay, make sure you send me the correct one on. Dude, imagine your manager comes up to you. Wait, you're the manager. Your your higher manager comes up to you and says, What is this? To Vicantant from Peace in 17. Now you're good. For those autofills, I don't do autofills for like my card number or my address because I'm too scared of like somebody like stealing my phone. Because, like, so much information is, like, on your phone, right? I'm like, my sister, she told me she does that shit. I'm like, wait, I should do that, too. We also carry, like, dummy phones. That way, if we get, like, mugged, we'll just toss them the fake iPhone. Cheap, cheap beach, and I literally win. That definitely would have been awkward to explain. <laughs> They'd be like, why are you using the work address for your silly purchases? Okay, I got it. Two shells. Agent 007's in front of me. Okay, I'll say it. If you are a person who chooses the cow costume, I think you need to do some self-reflection. And also take the BDSM test. <laughs> Stop! I just wanted to make a silly little joke. God damn it. No jokes. No jokes allowed, I guess. Seriously? I hate... War. But I love bullets. I gained, like, no places with that bullet gun. My ring is gonna- It went down! How am I gonna get 8k today? Dude, it would have to be a subathon. Thank you, Bill.
Deke Jungle, and I literally won. Sorry, I saw Squeaks' tweet. I'm not gonna say that out loud, cause like, what if it's an innuendo? I don't wanna be caught saying sus things. You know, I don't mind making innuendous jokes, it just has to be on my own volition. That's why like, whenever I get a new follower, I don't say their name. Cause I'm like, what if it's like, they're trying to make a pee pee joke, and then I don't know. Cause there's so much slang that the zoomers have, look. I can't keep up. That's another reason why we Twitch streamers will shorten people's names. We never see the full name. Because usually if we see a long ass username, it's a debate. They're trying to make you say a bad word. I was almost gonna cut off the guy with the piranha plant. Like, I was almost going faster than he was. Whoa, dodged. You win some and you lose some. I always forget how crazy this track is. Another shell? you get top six you don't lose rank okay watch this un secreto Yeah, as long as you maintain top six, you rank up. How did you end up getting a worse place using that? Dude, I know, right? It's about my lines. It's my lines. I gotta I gotta get good, like the kids say. Ooh. I'm really good at these two, but I'm better at Yoshi's Island. I have a higher win rate. It's because Yoshi's Island is built for an inside drift bike. Yeah, get good, Scrub. Dude, I can't hear my sister clip-clopping up the stairs. I will never be the person who wears slippers inside. That will not be me. You know, I think people should be comfortable in their homes, but, like, not too comfortable. It keeps picking my tracks. So lucky. First place incoming. Also, there's only ten people, so my odds are increased by... No, it's not by two, that's a whole number. It's one tenth versus one twelfth. By six percent. I think one twelfth is. No, I don't know. I can't do the math. <laughs> I can't do it. Wait, two percent, maybe? One divided by twelve.
I don't do math on Fridays. Well, what's your math day? I thought you were a business major. What the hell? Stop! I'm still in third place. Watch this. <laughs> I hit both! That's huge. Stay away! Oh, man, I'm doing so good though. Okay, cow guy threw the red shell behind him. He's definitely sus. Oh. Yeah, the business owners... <laughs> the business owners manage, the accountants do the math. That's how it's supposed to go, right? Dude, what am I supposed to do? Wait, watch this. Come back, incoming. I just have to get top five, top five. Yo! Okay, four, four, third, yo. I just think you can get in top, top sixes. That's literally all I need. Go! God, I hit the wall. Can we get first? Um, just a race like the top of the seven. Fuck. Okay, so it's top six either way gains positive rank, even if it's a small lobby. Oh no. <laughs> Don't scold me. I'm trying my best. Somebody roll the clip where I got first place earlier. I'm choosing Los Angeles Labs because I hate myself. Not for like... The common reason, I'm just mad that I lost at Yoshi's Island. Surely I'll hit 8k today, surely. Now, realistically, I'll probably get like 7,900. Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. It keeps choosing mine. Everybody in this lobby probably hates me because I'm the one guy who picked LA Labs. Wait, this is a 100cc lobby? No way. No way. Am I bad at Mario Kart again? Usually in online, I get 150, but sometimes there will be 100 sprinkled in. Dude, I can't. Emoji. Also, Electra. <laughs> I said Electra his gift card for being the top clipper and he replied with a gif of hello kitty bowing and saying thank you and it was the funniest shit i was like hanging out with my sister and i saw the gif and i giggled and it scared her <laughs> Did you just say GIF? Yeah, it's canon to say it that way. We've, we've had this debate many times on stream.
unfollowing? Do it, bitch! You guys joke about that shit all the time. Do it. Lose your follow age. See what'll happen. I ban... I'm not even kidding. I ban the people who unfollow. <laughs> I was being... <laughs> no! What? I was looking at chat. God. God. I can't, like... Enjoy a moment with the chat room in the lake. Not lose everything. Fuck. I had third place. Okay, I'm not even trying. I hate this track. I don't know why I picked it. Our plan is to distract you so you lose? Well, it's working. It's not like we got a incentive for me to lose or win today. This is just... So I can... I rank down. So I can rank up. I want to get to a point where, like, every single lobby I'm in is 200cc, and then I'll win every single race. I'm so good at 200. But, like, apparently that doesn't happen, even for the people of 999 rank. They still just get put in baby lobbies. Okay, sounds good, Vic. I also got my sister ice cream yesterday because I, I was craving ice cream because I all allow myself like one little cheat treat a week. So I got myself a shake from Baskin Robbins. I got half strawberry cheesecake, half their strawberry dragon fruit. The dragon fruit ice cream they have is really good. But I got her a packed pint. It was called Mom's Baking Cookies and it was chocolate chip cookie dough, but it had brown sugar swirl in it. And I thought my sister would like it. The pint was nine dollars. The the pints they pack for you to order are fucking expensive. She didn't like the ice cream. So now, minus nine dollars, and also I have to eat the ice cream. And I'm not supposed to have too much ice cream. <laughs> but it's like I'm the type of person where like I hate having shit in the fridge and freezer. Like I'd rather use as much as I can before I buy more stuff. And my sister was like, why didn't you get me the ice cream that I normally like? And I was like, I could've. But I wanted you to try this one, because I thought you would like it. I was trying to be a good sister. So she got no ice cream. She wasn't that upset, though. <laughs> Thankfully. I don't know, the one time I try and be nice... It's because the brown sugar... It gave it like a caramely taste, so it kind of tasted like toffee. And she hates toffee. <laughs> so honestly, valid. I should have like thought about that first. Or I should have asked for a sample, honestly. Watch this. Yo! Two for one. Fourth place two? This feels like 200cc. It would be cool if it showed us, like, on the bottom right how fast it is, because it shows some loading screen, but I, I, like, don't look at the- I don't look at the loading screen. I kind of want to try the skip at the end. Come on! Give me one dub. Okay, that was kind of a dub. That's the first time I've ever done that skit. Um, somebody's camping at the start. We're gonna all get DC'd. Top six, top six. <laughs> I stole him! Okay, I deserve that. Oh, I just realized when you go for that skip at the end, you miss out on the item box. Oh no, there's item boxes here, okay. So it's totally worked. got top six. Peach is still happy. I'm happy. We're all gonna get DC'd because that one bozo.
Oh, and you miss out on points too. Dang. Good thing I kind of threw. You know what? I never do this. I'm gonna try regional. Hopefully, people who are playing in the States are like little babies. It is 2.30 p.m. or 2.45. So it's either gonna be kids or people who don't like going to parties on the weekend. Okay, that guy's called Nintendo Joe. <laughs> Oh, it just started. So, how are you guys doing today, huh? Oh, wait, you're alive? Yeah. Hi, Go Bobo. I saw you in the offline screen. You were like, wait, is this sub only stream right now? And it scared me because I thought I was still live. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, what the hell? I was like, I closed out OBS, what the hell? Wait, this could actually be Winner's POV. Now you're fine, Kobo, but it was cute. I was just. Oh my god, Winner's POV. Holy shit. Even though his username looks like a bad word, I'm gonna cheer him on. Ooh, hit the grass! He got inked! Uh oh. He might be cooked. Why does he keep hopping? He's killing his momentum by hopping. He got greedy. You should have saved the horn. So I got a mute. Yo. Not my strongest rainbow road, but I'm gonna try my best. I think I've gone first on this track like maybe once in online. Oh wait, this is regional. I have a chance. It's gonna be babies. Watch this. The cleanest line you'll see all day. Clean! Not so clean, but it's fine. Oh, 
Not cool. Second place? Okay. I think first place? Ah, they're holding something. It looks like a horn, maybe? I should have saved the red shell. I really should have saved. It's fine, I'm still in third. Taking a lot of L's first, please. It is so far ahead that I gotta stop. That is not good. <laughs> Six, I just need top six. Top five, baby. Plus three. <laughs> One of the guys' user was Barf Bank. <laughs> Man, I wish I had the courage to make an alt account, but I'm like too scared of my alt getting banned and then I my main gets banned. That's genuinely why do I have like an, a funny alt account? I'm scared. Of course, the Nintendo man is first. You should have known. I think it's funny whenever people put TTV in their username in games. It's like, yeah, you'll get maybe a few followers, but you're just gonna get people sniping you or like wanna fuck with you more. Because when they see the, oh, TTV name, they're probably live. Let's mess up his stream. I don't, like, the cons outweigh the pros. Exactly, see you get it. But Electra, your username is so long. Like, it would get cropped off the TTV part, so it'd be kind of pointless. You're just wasting characters. Oops! I missed my boost. channels and one of their rules would be anytime you see somebody come into my chat say oh my god i was just in your game ban them and i'll be like okay but it's such a silly rule it's like don't you want people to find your stream but then you also ban them if they come into your chat and say they were in your game i don't get it I joined so many Smash lobbies, and there's people with TTV in their names. Yeah, you know, they're trying to be the... Wait, no, they're probably, like, actually, like, grinding for pro or something. The Smash theme is, like, so big, and I don't understand it. I genuinely don't get it. People should be nerdier 
should be, yeah, it should be nerdier towards, like, a cooler game. Or, like, a game that's more fun to watch, because Super, Super Smash Bros. is, like, too technical. There's a big reason why, like, traditional sports are popular across every generation. It's because you can watch the game for, like, five minutes and understand what's going on. But a Smash Lobby? All I see them do is little animations with the, with the characters, and I don't get it. They're like, up B, smash B. I'm like, huh? I only know touchdown, tackle. Okay, I don't know anything about football. <laughs> I'm in 10th place. Fuck. Anyway, that's what I think about smash people. You know what? Smashers should just actually smash instead of playing the game. I promise it's so much better. <laughs> I spat out my water. <laughs> Can't with you guys. <laughs> I don't understand. You're normally amazing at Mario Kart. What's happening? I literally had a first place earlier. I literally got first. It was a flawless win. It was my second race. None of you guys saw it. I didn't get a single pog in chat. I was gonna say, somebody pull up the clip, but I unpublished the VOD. Yup. And you guys, I would never lie about winning in Mario Kart. I would never cheat, either. The only time I would cheat is on your guys' mothers, because you know they're all so beautiful. Usually, I have like a buff whenever I enable the Kappa PNG the Kappa PNG tuber. You would cheat on my mom? Yeah. She likes polyamory. Apparently, apparently polyamory is like really popular in the Northwest. Which... I don't- I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Yeah, I saw TikTok talking about it. They were talking about, like, cliches of the Pacific Northwest, and it was like, shopping at Winko. And I was like, yeah, Winko's pretty cool. Feeling lonely. And then on the third slide, was like, everybody being polyamorous. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what the hell? I don't know. I, I don't think I could ever try polyamory. It's like... I, I'm already anxious about, like... Okay, what if they, like, end up liking the third person more than me? Like, that would make me sad. Plus, also, like, I don't think you can get married. Like, I don't think there's, like, any way for the three of you to, like, split your assets. Like, legally. Because, like, what if you're in a polycue and you guys, like, all equally love each other? But then one of them gets into a car accident. And is, like, no longer with us. Like, do the other two, like, keep the third person's assets? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I can barely handle one person, let alone two. You know, I think everybody likes the idea of it, but there's, obviously with any relationship, there's like physical and emotional dynamics. And I feel like it would be easier to entertain the physical, but not necessarily the emotional dynamics. I don't know, I had a, I had a friend who was polyamorous and 
it did cause drama. But I, I think the image of like three people walking down the street all holding hands would be really funny. That guy's wearing the Bowser Me outfit. Oh my god. Some people are too into this game. A huge indicator of that is whenever you click on the Nintendo tab, there's always Peach drawings. And not just any old drawings, like spicy drawings. And you know, when I click on Nintendo, I'm not looking for that type of content. Fuck! I'm never playing this fucking game again. I'm pivoting, I'm pivoting. Says the streamer that only plays Mario Kart. I play other games, like Pokemon for 69 hours. All I need is top six. I haven't played Mario Kart 64. Mainly because, like, it looks... <gasps> it looks really difficult. Then I only play easy games. Yo, huge. Screw you, man. I also haven't played SM64, but that's because similar to Fortnite, like, it has such a diehard community that I'm kind of scared. If anybody who'd watch me play the game that's like a, a long-term SM64 player. I've said this many times on the stream, but like, I don't want gamers to watch me. I want peace and enjoyers. I'm in ninth place! Because the gamers are just, like, really fucking annoying. <laughs> like, their opinion on, like, having fun in the chat is telling you what to do, how to play the game, talking about the game. Like, it's not fun. That made me laugh out loud. They are annoying. Yeah. It's like, get a different hobby. <laughs> That's a huge reason why I don't play exclusively one game, even though Mario Kart is like a recurring game for the channel. Like, I do play it at least once every other week. The reason why I don't play, like, games... Like, the reason why I don't play, like, League of Legends all the time is because then you get League of Legends enjoyers. And then they don't watch your other streams. What I really do appreciate about how I've built my Twitch channel over the past three years. Like, I've always been a variety creator because you don't want to box yourself into a, a super specific niche when it comes to streaming. Because since it's long-form content, obviously you're putting a lot of hours into whatever you do. Like, let's say you put 100 hours into Valorant the past three months. And then you get banned from Valorant. Or Valorant becomes a banned game. It's like, what do you do then? Like, if Mario Kart for some reason gets banned in the US, I would still be able to stream and probably have an audience. I got no items. 
Because I haven't built my audience off of Mario Kart. I'm gonna save the mushroom for the skip. Yep, I gained no places. Lightning Bolt, I think, is the best item in the game. It's like socialism. Everybody gets taxed, but the rich get taxed the most. And Seti? I didn't realize first was that close to me. I'm gonna scream. In delight! I mess up and look at the camera. But my camera's set up for art POV, so like I can't even. My camera's not to the left. <laughs> Dude, I think it's so funny. Like the people who stream from dual monitors, like when they physically turn their head to look at chat and they're like waiting to see like hypermotes or kek W's and there's no new messages. It's so funny. <laughs> Because, like, dude, that's me. I went down a rank. But, like, I have a single monitor, so all I have to do is, like, look to the left. I don't have to turn my head to the left. It's really funny. Peace and bully? I'm just saying the truth. DK jungle, and I literally won. Dude, I I've gone down rank today. Uh, one hour to get 200 points. I wanted to try like an eye tracker stream, but I'm like I'm not even joking. I think my eyes are like too small. Even when I have to take like pictures, the cliche of the face tracker not picking up your face, that's me. And since I have my monitor at a slightly lower angle than it should be, like when I look down, my eyes are even more closed looking. Like, playing the don't blink game, it would just register me blinking all the time. <laughs> I forget what the game is called, but it's like... The don't blink game where you're like a little kid and he dies. I mean... I mean... He's sick! And it's implied that he's, he's dying. And you have to like, go through your- like, every time you blink it progresses the story. Okay, the game has been out for like 10 years. If you haven't played it or watched somebody play it, it's your fault. And you know what else? Mufasa dies. Shit. I remember one time I was donating plasma. This was like a few months ago. And I was watching videos on my phone. And I had my head tilted down. Because I'm like looking at my phone. And one of the workers, white lady. She approaches my my bed and she's like, make sure you're not sleeping. She's like, wake up. I'm like, I'm like, bitch, I'm, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> but granted, I did have a mask on, so like, you couldn't really see my eyes too, but like, my eyes are that small. <laughs> and the same shit happened to my sister too. It's like, dude, are we, are we being profiled? Mask go over your mouth, not your eyes. Yeah, I know, right? Sometimes I just don't like the look when I'm. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. 
Okay, fifth place, sixth place. I'm cooking. I mean, frick. And Serio, what is going on? I'm so happy. If you guys come up with ideas for the birthday stream, we'll discuss it at the end. Um, okay. Up! I got stuck! I thought the Biley person was in first. They were in last. <laughs> they were getting lapped. Just dance stream when? No. Mm -mm. Mainly because the VOD would be copywritten and I don't want to get in trouble. And also, I don't want to show my full body. You guys would like swoon instantly and become simps and I can't lose my audience like that. Or gain an audience! <laughs> just dance with your hands wait can you do that oh yeah i guess if you're using like uh the pro controllers or sorry the joy cons i gotta do is wiggle it 200 cc guys win incoming Baking stream? I don't I don't want to smoke weed. It's too expensive. I have done cooking streams in the past, but since I have like more roommates now, it's kind of frustrating to have people come in and out of the kitchen. Oh my god, this is so fast. I love this. Just like home. I moved out about about a year and a half ago but it's all due to my sister because she has a good job and she basically fully provides for me because she understands that like I need to prioritize my health I'm in eighth place ninth place Fuck. and she's very kind it's mainly because like if I had to work a traditional job it would break my brain or my body like it would, it would be too much. Like, a big reason why I, I stopped working in food service is because, like, it made me, like, literally want to Minecraft. Like, play Minecraft. Because, like, I've talked about this before, I think, on stream. But when you're in an environment, like a service job, where, like, you're disrespected by co-workers, managers, and the public, it makes it, like, doubly difficult whenever you yourself, like, don't think highly about yourself. Like, let's say you don't like... Let's say you don't like yourself, and then the, the world is basically telling you that they don't like you either. Like, it's very difficult. But, if I were to get another job, I'd probably work at an office. Like, I've applied... Like, for funsies to, like, see if I can even get an interview. And there was one opportunity where if I would have applied literally a day sooner, I could have gotten the job. 
That's so sad, yeah. Like, it took me a while to, like, make that analogy, but once I worded it that way, it started making sense to people. Because there were a few, like, friends and family who didn't understand why I quit the job. Because they were like, you know, you are, you're a regional manager, you're making decent money. I was not making decent money, I was making $15 an hour when minimum wage was only 13 at the time. I should have been making at least 20, but I didn't know any better. I was fucking 21. I didn't know. And when I quit, okay, I put in a month notice. I was like way too nice. And when I, when I was leaving, they were gonna offer like somebody $19 to do my job. Like the moment I heard that, cause like some of my coworkers told me that, like, the day or two I was gonna leave, they were like, oh yeah, they're offering so-and-so, like, $19 for your job, and they said no. And I was like, shit. Like, this person that I was working for for three plus years, like, knowing that she would give somebody a $4 higher rate than me, with, like, only six months experience? Crazy. Like. Because you, you, you like to think that people are nice and kind, but. You know, it turns out they're not. Don't be friends with your managers. Don't be friends with your business owners. They don't give a shit. Like, yes, they're probably nice, but like, big picture, you're just a body. So don't give up too much of your life for your work. Clock in, clock out. If you're salary, then, oops, you're screwed. <laughs> I'd be so pissed, dude. I didn't do anything. I was just like, damn. Damn. Okay. Freak. Vic is talking like their higher-ups are watching the stream. <laughs> no, very kidding. I, I get where you come from. I think my my biggest thing, like my my biggest takeaway from that job was like don't put all your eggs in one basket. Also, like if your state has like Medicaid, get health insurance through the state, is my opinion. Like what happens if you lose your job? Like, so much of your your future is associated with your job, like your retirement, your job. You don't necessarily need a job to set up a 401k. You can just set one up on your own. Like, don't wait until you have a cushy job to start your retirement savings. Yo, I beat that guy at the end. I'm in 10th. I'm in 10th. <laughs> I was pogging, like visibly, but I was in 10th. Dude. Looking back, I probably wasn't the best managerial figure. Like, I was a better worker than leadership because I would always try to be as efficient as I could have. Obviously, working for more than I was being paid. Um, guys. Quite quitting, do it. I don't care. Screw big corpo. But because I wasn't as assertive as I could have been. Like I let people get away with things. I think I was most firm about food safety. Like if I didn't see you wash hands, nope, you're washing your hands. I don't care. But if somebody like didn't get all their tasks done or like miss rang up something on the computer, like that's not too big a deal. Because my, my way of seeing things in life and at that previous food service job was if you're not hurting anybody, it's fine. Like, if you mess up an order, oh well, just make it again. I'm not going to pop off at that. But if you're not washing your hands or if you're not sanitizing stuff properly, then yeah. You're going to get somebody sick and I will, like, I'll scold you for that. Like, when I was at Subway, I managed one location for... I think three months, and then that location shut down, and then I got transferred to a new location in town. And then I managed that one for about two years. And then... 
In my final six months there, I started managing another location in the next town over. And dude, the second location was so bad. The little zoomers were vaping in the back room, like as they were prepping food. We checked the cameras. And then nobody washed their hands. Like it was so bad. And like, and this store is like, most of the workers were little zoomers, so like high schoolers and like young adults. And they would get so pissy whenever I tell them to wash their hands. It's like, are you not like trained this from the start? Like, what the hell? Turns out the previous manager, who was like crazy, <laughs> like she was actually like crazy. <laughs> Turns out like she was just horrible. Remind me to never go to Subway ever again. Well, the issue is it's a problem across a lot of subways because I talked about it with um, like corporate regional managers. And they said my stores were probably the best about like food safety, which honestly huge dub. I don't know what it's like now. I literally haven't gone back to my old subway location since I left. I kind of want to, but then it's awkward. Anyway, they said like subway washers not washing hands is very common because since there's not a lot of workers, people will prioritize like saving time over food safety, which if you don't understand food safety, it makes sense. And then also, even if the sink is up front by the line, it's kind of like aesthetically the customer thinks that the worker washed their hands, but in reality, the worker either just put on gloves or just didn't wash their hands. Like, if you see a worker going from register and then not washing hands, politely tell them to wash their hands. If they throw a fit, just walk out. Like... It, it's not worth you getting sick. Like, I told you the guy's story. The guy, like, one of my old co-workers that, yes, I did date. I'll take the L. But there was one time where, like, he was in the back room. Like, we were just chilling in the back so slow. And, like, he scratched his ass. Like, he put his hands in his pants and scratched his ass. And went up to the front. Didn't wash his hands. And I was, like, scolding him after. I was like, what do you, what? You didn't wash your hands. He's like, I sanitized. I'm like, you still, like, scratched your ass. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, you don't know what somebody is doing before they touch your food. So it's different if you're at a place where, like, you can't speak to the kitchen workers. But if it's a fast food place like Jimmy John's or Subway where they make the food in front of you and they don't wash their hands, tell them to wash their hands. Oh, heck no. Nah. Yeah. I'll take the L. That's disgusting. Yeah. And dude, I dated this guy. <laughs> also, for people... Okay, changing the topic. He better have been hot. I thought he was cute. He was really nice to me, too. Well, that was, like... That incident happened when, like, we first started working together. We didn't start, like, dating until, like, four months after we, like, met each other. And I remember I hated him. <laughs> For other reasons. Not because he was, like, mean to me. It was just, like, he was very, like, apathetic about, apathetic about shit. Anyway, this is a story for a different day. Talking about not washing hands. If you, especially the guys in chat, okay? VOD watchers, write this down. If you don't wash your hands, genuinely, after you use the restroom, what what is wrong with you? Because, like, I, okay, I understand the argument of, like, you know, I'm just, like, literally touching my own body. Like, I'm clean. I don't need to wash my hands. But it's, like, You're- if you're using the toilet at home, you're touching the- the- the flush pedal with your hands. You're- you're touching your junk. Like, why would you not wash your hands? I think the even better point is wash your hands before and after. Cause if you're going to the bathroom, like, touching your junk without washing your hands first, and then you expect your girly to, like, you know, have a snack later. Like, eat, you, she's gonna be eating, like, everything you touch that day. Like, I don't know. 
And I, I don't understand. Anyway, that's my shower thought for the day. Oh, wait, what's, I can't mute. Okay, one second, one second. Sorry, my sister wanted to add some input to the washing hands discussion. She also said, I agree with what you said, Peason. She didn't chuckle at it. But she said also, like, guys, heteronormatives, if you don't wash up, like in general, you're gonna give your grill UTIs. Like, keep it clean down there. You know, our, you know, vaginas self-clean. It's pretty cool, but you guys don't. <clears throat> anyway, that's just why I'm gay. <laughs> what about like the bi people? <laughs> no, but even if, even if you're a lesbian, you should still use the, what's it called? There's like the plastic film that you use when you have a snack. Tim Tams? No, it's not a Tim Tam. It's not a Tim Tam. <laughs> Tim Tam is like the Australian biscuit snack, I think. Wait, I'll look up what it's called. Um, what's it called? Dude, my search history is fucked. Dental dam! That way you don't get, um, STIs. Anyway. Uh, if you don't know, just look it up. Also, Sunshine Airport, literally gonna win. That was dumb. I could have told you what it's called. I forgot. I literally forgot. first time I learned about dental dams was during a BuzzFeed video. You know, I've learned more from BuzzFeed than from school or anything concerning like sex ed. I don't understand- okay, on this topic, conservatives get mad whenever like there's news of schools trying to teach consent during sex ed. I'm mad. Not about what I'm talking about, about the game. But it's like, if you aren't getting mad about them teaching basic consent in school, I think you're just self-reporting. Like, obviously people need to be taught, like, what is okay and what is not okay. Like, that's another reason why abstinence education is not helpful. Because then you're gonna have, like, kids sma- like, teenagers smashing, and they don't know, like, what's going on. It's- it's so frustrating. And when I was in middle school, cause that was the only time when it was required to have like a sex ed class. It was during ninth grade, so like the year before high school. 
I remember I was out of town for a funeral, so like, I didn't get to watch the the condom on a cucumber demonstration. I missed that, unfortunately. Oh my god, I'm in sixth place! Holy moly! But all I got was a little booklet, like, explaining about STIs, but nothing about contraceptives. So, like, if I didn't watch BuzzFeed videos as a curious teenager, even though I wasn't smashing anybody, who knows what could happen? You know what I mean? Oh! <laughs> I forgot I was a ghost. Wait. Oh, I got plus five. Yo. 78.63. Anyway, let's talk about something else. I don't want to get in trouble. Ribbon Road. What I do like about the regional lobbies is that there's less people in them. But the problem is... These people are, like, good. Yep. Okay, I think I'll play Marker for another 15 minutes and then we'll discuss the birthday stream. So guys, notepads out. Get brainstorming. Because my sister asked again if we can play Mafia. Because <laughs> she and I promised that we're going to play it together. And in the past, any other game that we promised we're going to play together, she just plays on her own and doesn't tell me. Yo! Okay, I'm not doing too bad. a good block. Fourth place? Hold? That was horrible. Horrible! I was feeling evil with the boomerang. I was taking karma into my own hands. Surprisingly, like, decent at Ribbon Road. I used to be horrible at this track. But once I finally learned, like, the pattern in which the ribbon turns, I got a lot better. Oh, really? You're supposed to get, like, speed items at the end. Ooh, plus one! <laughs> Okay, it seems like even if I rank low, because the people I'm playing with are higher rank, when they take L's, I get a dub. With points. Hmm. He's I too. Hmm.
You know what OBS needs to add? They need to add like a drawing layer. Kind of like how you can draw on your whiteboard. Like, let me draw with my mouse in OBS. And then pirate software would not need to open Microsoft Paint. It would be so innovative. Have you ever thought about Stardew Valley? Yeah, I dream of the one Purple Hill girl all the time. Not you. I forgot her name. Abigail. <laughs> I'm only gonna play it on stream if the Switch update comes out. Because I've played Stardew Valley so much. I think I have a total of like three saves. I'm not good enough for you? Uh, I just think it's unethical to like fuck your viewers. I'll be honest. It seems like every small streamer does it at some point though. I, I, I like to say that I don't understand why, but the reason why is because when you have somebody who, like, never had power or influence in their life have power, they will abuse that power! Like, don't fuck your fans if you're a moderator for your streamer and they give you extra attention. Don't- don't do anything! Obviously, it's not your fault if you fall victim to, like, that type of manipulation, but still, like, don't! I've never gotten the squid item in, like, forever. <laughs> Another big reason why I think, like, that type of predation happens is because your viewers and your moderators and everybody who works under you sees you as your friend. Like, genuinely, because you spend, like, so much, like, casual and fun time together. But, there needs to be a level of disconnect. Also, when your streamer says they love you, they don't mean it, okay? They're just saying that to farm subs. Whoa, mind blown. <laughs> oh my god, 10th place? Hold. <gasps> Football! Well, that's sad. I mean... I don't remember who said this. But whenever a streamer, like, refers to their viewership, it's, like, as a collective, as a group. Not as individuals. So, like, don't take whatever the creator says, like, too hard, too seriously, I guess. Like, let's say somebody, like, the creator's mad one day. Like, don't take it personally. Or if they say, like, oh, I really love my viewers. Like, don't think they're saying that to you. Why I, 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 I thought Berlin was Madrid. The, the thumbnail looks so similar. But it's really sad, because in the small streamer space, a huge reason why I don't, like, dip my toes in it anymore and do collabs is because, like, there's so many people who will, like, who are predators. Cough, cough, mostly male creators. Like, who will try to, like, solicit nudes or, like, have innuendous conversations with viewers or their mods. And a lot of people don't realize that that's not okay. It seems like once a month, some smaller creator gets, like, exposed for predation. It's very unfortunate. And... It's not that I don't want to get tangled up in it. I don't want my viewers to fall victim to it. Because in general, you don't want to, like, expose anybody in your life to somebody who could be bad or hurt others. It's also really telling whenever people get exposed for that behavior, the ones who do keep supporting them. Like, other creators, I mean. Like, if you can't acknowledge that that behavior is far from appropriate and borderline like crimes 
You need to do some self-reflection. And it all kind of goes back to teaching consent at a young age. Like, a big reason why the B2 movement and then also, like, just in general online spaces are more likely to bring those things to light is because more people in general are educated on what is okay and not okay. And in public spaces, like, like let's say you need to report something to the police, it's not taken seriously. And it's very unfortunate that that is, like, still the reality, and it's, what, fucking 2024? And there's, like, mounds and mounds of archives of, like, um, RAPE kits that are not being evaluated. So the best thing that one can do is be aware of the signs of what makes someone a safe or not person. Know what resources you have in your local area, whether that be police force, um, local shelters. There's a lot of, like, women shelters, too. And then also, like, making sure to call out your friends. Like, if your friends or family do bad shit, like, call them out on it. Make sure they fix that behavior. And always support and believe victims. Why are we talking about this? I wanted to stray away from this. <laughs> or, not we, me. Why am I talking about this? Oh, I think the last thing I'll say... ...is that one should speak up... ...and share their story. If they are, like, mentally able to handle it. Because this is prevalent in any space whether it be online, in your workplace, at home. If you are experiencing some type of trauma or abuse, most likely other people are too. Like, I've been harassed in the workplace. I've suffered things at home. I'm out of that home now, so I'm good. And when it comes to, like, workplaces, if somebody, like, let's say a coworker shares uh, an incident that has happened, don't report it on their behalf without their consent. Like, obviously it's not your story to tell, but if that person wants to go forward to, like, management or HR, they can bring you with them, but do not ever report anything without the victim's consent. Anyway, this is probably my last race. Dub incoming. <laughs> Peace and soapbox? You guys better be snapping. You know, I was slaying with what I was saying. <laughs> You know, at least I'm, like, yapping about good shit and not yapping about, like... <laughs> I was gonna say... <laughs> um... About bad shit. <laughs> Man, turn that nine upside down and I'm in sixth place. Politely rotate your screens. Dodged! You know what? I have something controversial to say. If you are the people who buys Wi Fi on the plane or buys a movie, you're a sucker. You're playing so much premium for shittier service. You know the Wi-Fi on the plane is gonna be dog shit. 
Be normal, bring a book, bring a notepad, and quietly entertain yourself. Or get a Kindle. Or bring your Kindle. If you don't have one, don't buy one just for the plane. That would be kind of silly. And also... <laughs> so... This actually made me mad one time. So my friend was going on a trip to Florida. So they were going from Washington to Florida. They had to take two connectors. And their trip was fine, but on the way back, they bought Wi-Fi for like their six hour play. And they were texting me the whole flight, like just like talking about random shit. But then anytime the plane had turbulence, they were like, uh oh, the plane is shaking. It's some pretty bad turbulence. And I'm just like on my phone, like hella anxious. Cause I think like this plane is gonna crash. And then thankfully, you know, they were fine. It was just turbulence, like the plane was fine. But, dude, don't be sending people, like, live updates on the plane. Obviously, like, like, okay, let's picture another scenario. Like, let's say your friend gets, gets into a car accident. You can probably maybe meet them at the hospital or maybe help them. But if they're in a cr plane crash, oh, they're dead. So, <laughs> this is why I think you should not buy plane Wi-Fi. If the plane's going down, take the L. Take the O. Also, I'm getting out of here. Guys, I got one first place. I promise I'm not lying. I promise. It's it's real. I would never lie. Okay. So, I'm working on that Wi-Fi airplane bit. I'm workshopping it. I think it's a good story. You know, I use these streams to practice my stand-up. I'll do it one day. I'm also... I'm gonna start donating plasma again, so that's gonna take up like six hours of my week, because I go twice a week. Also, oh my god, I learned. Obviously, plasma is used for a different medication for a lot of immunocompromised people, but like this, the most needed medicine or treatment that is made from plasma, for one patient, it can require up to, or a minimum of a hundred plasma donations. For one year treatment for the most common type of condition that needs plasma treatment. So to think that for one person who needs plasma donations, like to stay alive, that they need a hundred plus people to donate throughout the year just for them is insane. Like I, I never realized it was like that imperative and in demand. Like, I started crying the other night thinking about it. I was like, holy shit. Because, like, there's been times where, like, I skipped donating because, like, I was too tired. Or, obviously, I couldn't donate for a couple months because, uh, since you get money, it affected my disability. And then also, um, and then also, like, I, the past month, I wasn't allowed to donate because my, my protein levels were low. And, like, to think that me not donating for the months is like potentially somebody not getting life-saving treatment is very sad anyway guys donate plasma if you can donate blood if you can't donate plasma i know plasma like is on more often but do one of the two you'll save a life yeah this i'm in the void i'm in the void <laughs> yeah but anyway since like i'm gonna start donating plasma again i'm gonna donate as much as i can so two times a week because I want to make medicine. And I told my sister that last night. Because she didn't know like how much donation is needed for treatment. She was like, shit. I mean, she didn't say shit. <laughs> she didn't say shit. But she was like, dang. I guess we can't skip a week, huh? I'm like, yeah. I have the universal blood type. So if I donate... So if I don't donate blood, I'm a terrible person. I don't, I don't know what my blood type is. I, I think I know, but every time I go to the doctor, I keep on forgetting to ask. I, I think I- wait, should I share my blood type? I don't know for sure. I think it's 007. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. Okay, guys, we're gonna work on planning the birthday stream. Let's get some text on stream. Do, 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 do. I 
I almost put D-Day. That would have been bad. Okay. So. For the birthday stream, it'll be from 10 a.m. Till 10 p.m. I'm actually going to... Maybe I can do this here. Let's see. So I'm trying to pull up last year's VOD. We're only going to do this today. Because today we're just spitballing ideas. A 12-hour stream? Yeah, I, I did it last year. I gotta do it again this year. I kind of cooked myself. Okay, so this is last year's VOD. Let's see. Timestamps. Oh yeah, Cult of the Lamb came out that day too. Okay, let's see. Oh, you can't see. Shoot. You can't see the timestamps because it's cropped. Yeah, I'll, I'll recrop it. There we go. Okay, so last year we did decorating cupcakes, birthday quizzes, Pictionary, Mario Kart for two hours, damn. Reacts when I'm eating lunch, Mario Party Superstars. Oh, my roommates were playing. <laughs> that was funny. YouTube time, Cult of the Lamb, movie watch along. Yeah, it was a lot of gaming last year. Which was fine, and it was my first, like, super long stream. So, like, that makes sense. But it kind of felt like uh, a lot of filler content. And this year, there still will be, it'll be, like, primary gaming focus, but, like, it'll be, like, a reason for doing said game. Okay, we're gonna take this off the stream. Okay, so, what we had previously discussed, I'm gonna actually get a notepad. Also, I know Not Mac and Chat has been working on ideas too. They said they'll DM me privately. That way, you guys don't get spoiled too much, even though we're kind of spoiling it today. Okay. So, we have 12 hours to fill. So, ideally, each activity should be 1 to 2 hours max. So, if I have 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., 1, 2... So, it'll be... And then... Like, the stream would end at 10, or, like, the timer would end at 10, but then obviously we'd do calligraphy. So, usually it takes a Twitch Go Live notification. Wait, should I put a camera on so you can see what I'm writing? Maybe I'll do that. I'll set up the camera. i also put some different music on. I don't want to listen to this crap. I mean, I love Mario Kart. Let's do Pokemon. We're playing Pokemon tomorrow. Let's get ready. Okay, gotta be careful to not show heat. Okay, the camera's gonna be a bit dark because they don't have ring lights on. Oh, it's flipped. What the hell?
Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna write down ideas as we discuss them. Oh, so the music is really loud. For me, at least. Okay, so. I got 12 hours to film. So usually it takes a Twitch go live notification like an hour to be pushed out. So probably mm, I should probably do a 10 minute starting soon screen just so like I don't want to start activities before majority of viewers like be clicking on the stream. Hmm. The ideas that we had in general were like turning 25, so 25 activities. Or not 25 things, but like things that a 25 year old would do. So that would be like renting a car, life game. Another one that I came up with was Sims having a family, because you know I'm 25. Also, my handwriting is not the best. Just pretend that it's good. And then another idea was stock markets. So basically, majority of the games for this stream will have a theme. Of course, we'll still do Mario Party. We'll probably still do Mario Kart. But that'll be near the end. Because I kind of want the focus this year to be like more single player games. I feel like that makes sense. Like spending my birthday alone. You know? So for the rent a car game, I have a sim game of like driving around different cities with different cars. For the life game- Oh, it was on sale! I have to- Let me double check that. Wait, I should not do that on stream. <laughs> so it was the actual game of life. And I think that one Max said was on sale this week. The Sims? Is the Sims on the Switch? I'm indifferent about starting the Sims, because like, it would take a while to get family. I'm debating. Oh, so the music is really loud. Ludwig song. Okay. And then stock markets. There was a stock market sim game too. So for each of these games, it would probably be like two hours each. So this is one, two, three. So that's six hours already between those three sim games. So that's basically half the day. We'll probably do like an hour for lunchtime and then react just so like I can have a little break. And that'll probably be at like probably 2 p.m. one hour lunch break like we're like I just eat and then we watch video I think <laughs> the the rent a car game that I found on the switch isn't compatible with the you know the motion control wheel for Mario Kart so it's just like controller gameplay but <laughs> So I think, in terms of order... Hmm... Because another problem I had with these sim games is that like, I wanted to play them for like a regular 9 to 5 stream. Which I do owe you guys one of this month. Because I want to try and do a 9 to 5 stream at least once a month. I want to do it every other week, but with Peace Lock, that's just taking a lot of my time. I think because like... With these, like, 25-year-old activity games, I want them to have, like, some some type of story or narrative. So, I think, in order, it makes sense to, like, do stock market first. Then probably rent a car. No, and then Sims, and then the game of life. Because, get ready. Get ready for this line. So first game, stock markets. You know, I'm 25. I need to start investing for retirement. Because you guys know. With millennials and Zoomers, we're going to basically have to work our whole lives. Because capitalism. So let's invest in stock markets. So we'll do a stock market sim game for an hour or two. And then I'm going to make lots of money from the stock market game. So then I'm going to go rent a car. And it's going to be fun and sick. And then I'll do like vacation RP. And I'm going to meet my wife. And we're going to make a family in the Sims. And then, to wrap it up, we'll play the game of life to see if the path that I took 
of being a brokey, to become a stock market broker, to meeting the love of my life, to having the family and the sims, is the path that the game of life intended me to have. Such a good line. See how, see how it all comes together? So, like, these activities will be, like, the main meat of the stream. Because I don't want the stream to be like, Oh my god, it's my birthday, guys! Oh my god! I want me to still do something. Because then, like, this whole concept alone could be its own, like, YouTube video. Uh, honestly, like, editing six hours of stream footage. L. But still, like, this has, like, a whole cohesive story to it. And I think that makes the most sense. Okay, so... This is gonna be about six hours. So that could be spread out for... The first two hours. Stock market. Rent a car! I can probably only play that game for like an hour. <laughs> like, driving around in cars for two hours? Probably not. And then hour break. Sims, maybe an hour. Game of life, maybe an hour. So then that's about two, three. Okay, so that's about five hours. So I think this would make sense to start at 11. And then I want to do like other IRL activities. So if you guys have ideas, put them in chat. Do it now. I think I want to decorate... I kind of want to decorate cookies again, but I really should not be eating cookies or having them in the kitchen, because then I will eat them. If we do Mario Party with viewers, it'll probably be like the final, the final two hours. So Mario Party. I kind of want to get Mario Party or Super Mario Party. And then we can do Mario Party Superstars with viewers. But that depends on if I can afford to get the game in time. Because I, I do want to play Princess Peach before my birthday. Whenever I beat Peace Lock, we'll do Princess Peach game in one sitting. So that means I got... I got five hours to fill. Ooh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, I remember. We, I thought of astrology test. Because... The, another line for this storyline was to do astrology test to see like who would be my perfect like match like in the stars so astrology test i think that makes sense after rent a car so and i'm gonna write this down like more better later Okay, yeah, so stock market game, make money, rent a car, lunch break, astrology quiz to see like who my wife is, Sims, and then the game of life to see if I did life right. What else do you do at 25? Things can do. 25. I know Max suggested like a fake wine testing, but <laughs> but I'll, I'll save that for a different stream entirely. This is from the financialdiet.com. 25 things you should be doing at 25. Paying your phone bill. I've done that for years. Saving for retirement. I mean that kind of lines up with the stock market bit. Cooking. Ooh, maybe I can bring back cooking mama. Okay. Cooking for myself. Oh, maybe cooking mama first. Because I have to be an adult. Okay. We can do cooking mama. Watching the news. <laughs> Sleeping enough. Wait, should I play Pokemon Sleep on stream? Exercising regularly? She. Why is it calling me out? Taking care of your skin? Okay, I actually have been doing that. I have. Getting your yearly checkups? Okay, I get more than yearly checkups. Budgeting? Ooh! 
Calling your parents? Skipping that. Listening to audiobooks or podcasts? Wait, do you want me to be woke? Voting? That's like too political. Actually getting ready every day. You're an adult, you should look and smell like one. Okay, I'll be honest, I did not shower today. Contemplating your future at least a little bit. Okay, I do that every day. Having insurance on yourself and your car. You know what? I don't drive, so I don't have to worry about car insurance. Taking vitamins? Okay, I do that already. Building credit? My credit score is on the up and up. Building your personal brand? Wait, I'm a streamer. What else do people need to know? Networking? Bull. Why is the age 25 special? Okay, I know rent a car is like the cliche thing you can do at 25, but you can do that before you're 25. You just have to pay a higher premium usually. Oh, you can volunteer for the UN when you turn 25. That is hilarious. Okay, there's not much you can do at 25. What can you do at 21? Drink, smoke. Wait, scrapbooking could be kind of cute. I, I obviously want to do some like art things too. I and I'd be down to. Ooh. Decorating my birthday cake. I thought about like just making my whole birthday cake on the street, but that would take like hours. Max said a good opening bit would be like, I pre film a belt a bit where like it's me like setting up a party and then nobody shows up, which would be a good bit, but then I would also have to like buy all the props and that would be like minus fifty dollars <laughs> i just buy dollar tree like decorations <laughs> okay so i think a good line is how to be an adult how to be a 25 year old i learn how to cook cooking mama makes a comeback at the starter stream then ooh, maybe and then, after I do Cooking Mama, I learn how to bake, so then I decorate cookies or cupcakes, and then I sell them to chat with channel points. And then, with the money I make from cakes, stock market sim. I make millions. I rent a car. I maybe meet the love of my life, vacation RP. Then I take an astrology quiz. Is this woman for me? Then I do the sims. I make a family with said wife. And then I play the game of life to see if I actually did it right and then the rest of the stream is just hanging out because by that time i'll have to add in um cooking mama and then cake decorating yeah so that'll be probably around hour seven that's a huge chunk yeah and then the final three hours we just hang out that okay honestly that sounds like a pretty decent line what do you guys think type one if it's good right now we're just spitballing because if I if I commit to this line, I have to like buy all the games and shit. I think it's a good line. Cause I want it to have like a like I said a, a story. I want it to have plot. I think it's good. Also, you guys cannot tell a plan to the non subs. Once I end stream today, we do not talk about the birthday stream. No narcs. Cause like, uh, I know a lot of people stream on their birthday to like farm donations, which, yeah, huge dub. Like, the moment you put birthday in your title, people just hemorrhage their wallets. But since it's a longer stream, I want it to like have substance. I want it to be like good and stand alone and not just me like streaming cause it's my birthday. Especially since it's my 25th birthday. 
Like, that in itself is monumental. You know, I made it a quarter of a century. I think that's a pretty good line. Is there anything that you guys want to do? Or do you think sounds fun to do in like the last three hours? Because we got from 7 to 10. And right now I'm just thinking hanging out. Maybe eating dinner. Watching YouTube and then Mario Party. Okay, so that is the outline. We have things to do when you're 25. Intro 30 minutes for the stream, 10 minutes starting soon screen, and then chatting. Oh, I was gonna talk about like sub incentives for anybody who does donate. So we were thinking quarters, and then for every donation, I put a quarter in a piggy bank. And then we count the coins at the end, cause like I'm turning 25, 25 cents. Like a visual indicator. Because I don't necessarily want to do another cake this year. Like, <laughs> taking a bite of cake for every donut was insane. Like, you guys know I'm dieting. I can do it, but I probably shouldn't. Uh, you guys went crazy last year. Um, I If I would have had to eat as many bites as I should have, I would have eaten half a cake. And it was a four layer. Dude, the cake was beautiful, but... Dude. It was like melted by the end of the day. <laughs> I kind of want an ice cream cake, mainly because I love ice cream. But I think if I do a cake this year, I will not eat it on stream. So for sub incentives, it's either going to be quarters in a jar, or I was also thinking I could get like a sheet cake. And then it would also be the cake that I decorate after cooking mama. And then I would make or buy like little decorations to put on the cake. Like I could make like little chocolate diamonds or something. And then for subs, I could find like little- Oh wait, oh wait! You know like the, the pretzels that are like that shaped? I could decorate them like presents. Like just pre-make them the day before and then for every donut I put them on the cake. I think that would be kind of cute. But I will- I will not eat the cake. It, it's just for looks. I'll get like a- like a- a styrofoam cake. Wait! <laughs> I think that'd be funny. <laughs> and- <laughs> Or- or- I can decorate like a- a wooden box. And then- You guys can be like, take a bite and I'll be like- it's wood. <laughs> okay. Like, I... Like, okay, imagine it's me, like, holding the cake, okay? This is my hand. But I don't decorate the backside so that I knock on the back face. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. I think it's hilarious. It's fake. <laughs> you want me to eat this as wood? Knock on wood, see? <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I, I think there's a little bit of charm to, like, prop humor or in comedy. I love it. I mean, it's mainly because, like, it's what I grew up with. Like, I can appreciate, like, well-written bits, but I love prop comedy. Okay, so that, I think, mm, I think the quarters is cuter, because it would be the only time I could do it, because I'm turning 25. The next coin would be a 50 cent coin, and ain't no way I'm streaming past, like, 30. 
Hopefully? I don't know. You guys gotta like me for another five years. But... <laughs> I like the idea of decorating a wooden box. Or... And, oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe... I still get like a real cake. I just get like a cheapy sheet cake. But then in the back... Because last year I had like my cake on a stool. That way you saw it in the background throughout the day and like you saw bites being taken out of it. Like, but in the... <laughs> I do the same thing, but I just have a prop cake. <laughs> okay, I, I think I'll do that. Just like a prop cake in the background. And then I can make the prop cake, like, I'll pre-decorate it before and I'll make it, like, cute as shit. Because with a prop cake, you don't necessarily, like... If you just use, like, regular buttercream, it'll, it can be at room temp for, like, forever. Or if you do fondant, too, like, it can be at room temp and, like, it won't mold. It's pretty sick. Prop cake wood. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't wait to tell my sister that bit. She's gonna think it's either really stupid or really funny. Also, I'm late to playing Mafia. I told her I'd be done stream at four. So, any last ideas? This is your last chance. After now, we're not talking about it. It'll be a little secret. Did you read it? I'm turning 25, I'm gonna go through all of life for the main meat of the stream, and then also sub-incentive. Will I be quarters? I think the visual of me getting like a cheapy ceramic um, piggy bank and like smashing at the end, I think is a really good visual. Because they get like cheapy piggy banks in the dollar store, you know? And it's not like I'm being too wasteful, right? That's what you're supposed to. You're supposed to smash the pig bank open when you're like ready to count the money. You're supposed to do that. There was one year when my birthday was on Easter and it sucked. Like imagine like hunting for eggs on your birthday. Okay, I'm trying to get my scene back to where it was. The way you say birthday is so funny. Hey. Be nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it funny on purpose. I have like this, it's not a tick, but it's just something I do where like, if I hear somebody say a word funny, I have to say it that way. Cause like, I just want to stand out. I'm just quirky. I'm back in the void. Okay. What do you guys think of the birthday plan? 10 out of 10 or 0 out of 10? Be honest. I think it's a good... I like... It feels like a roller coaster. Oh my god, Connor Eats Pants is doing Fortnite Friday with Emma. Guys, go watch it. Okay. I would like the- Dude, I'm- I'm I'm jumbling my words more, that means I'm tired. I'm fine. I'm not having a stroke. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Any chatter slickers? Bonus sub only stream. I know it's short. You could say I'm scamming the subs. But you know what? You guys are suckers anyway. You guys will watch anything I do. Okay, I- To be clear, I did get one first place in Mario Kart. I got one single first. I did get a dub, which is amazing. I also have a brief outline of the birthday stream, which will be April 24th. We're planning it now because it will take a while for me to, like, get it situated. Because I want to make sure this year's birthday stream is a banger. Last year's felt like a filler, and it was also my first 12-hour stream. So... Now I know what to expect. I've done, I think the longest stream I've done since then was 10 hours for like a, it wasn't peace lock, but it was for coffee talk. I played through the whole game. I was insane. 
Also, a Mori stream went for eight hours, but you know what? If I can handle the peace log, I can handle a 12 hour stream. And this year, I feel like I have a better plan. Because last year, I was like, okay, I'll click collab, I'll play games, it'll be fun. Which was fun, but I want to make sure, you know, I've been streaming for three years, I gotta step up my game. I gotta make sure most every stream is a hit. So, plan is simple. I will see you guys tomorrow. 11 a.m., maybe 10 a.m. for Peace Lock Day 12, question mark. I got to the jungle city, so we're gonna kill the gym leader and his Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, we're ending this at 4.20 p.m. Guys, get lit. If it's legal where you're at, but get lit. Have a good rest of your night. Sounds like my kind of party. Yes, sir. Also, you guys couldn't hear it, but my stomach is grumbling. I didn't have lunch during the 30 minute break. I just had a snack. I'm probably going to eat dinner with my sister. Also, my sister says she might like want to be on stream for my birthday. And I was like, what? Like to play Mafia. And I was like, no, I can't stream Mafia. Like, you can stream games from your PlayStation, like straight up, but I feel like it might break my stream. I don't know, I'd have to test it out. But we're not we're not launching the Peace and Sister on the birthday stream. That's like too much in one day. We're saving that for another day. Oh, wait, is stream ending? Yeah. Kobobo, do you have any birthday stream ideas? You have to tell me now. Because we're not talking about it. It's secret. After today, we're not talking about it. You got 30 seconds. I basically have the whole thing outlined. Eating crumble? Oh, yeah. Maybe we can do that at the start of stream. Oh wait, I think Crumble actually gives you a free cookie. Wait, what if it turns out that Kobobo is like one of the executives at Crumble and they're just trying to get me to eat it on stream for like free free promo. If that's the truth, Kobobo, you're in big trouble. But if you are secretly an exec, why haven't you like given me free food? I think that's the bigger question. Okay, I'm ending stream. I gotta go eat dinner. You guys have a good night. I'll see you all tomorrow with Peace Lock. Goodbye.